Hello, welcome to the Funko Illuminati to the Hotel of a Thousand Follies, Lollies, Lickum Lollies, and Uchi Coochie Coo. As you can tell, I recently watched Fifth Element. So, uh, LBD is going to be here in a little bit. I don't know about Claire, and unfortunately, Andrew has prior family uh, engagements. So, uh, right now, I'm going to be flying solo, at least for just a quick little bit. So, I hope everyone's been doing well and gotten what they wanted. Um, I know I got a bunch of bunch of stuff coming in. In fact, I had a package from Pop in a Box that was um, missing. Hey, Lisa Noble, thank you for showing up, and thank you, Laura. Um, what was I going to say? So I had a package. Whoops, let's uh, kill that. So I had a package that was uh, missing, and for some reason, I could not figure out where it went. And then I chalked it up to being lost, and it, of course, I bought replacement items, and now it just showed up. So Way to go. But it is what it is. So, um, basically what what we're going to do is I'm going to wait for LBD to show because I want to talk about some of the stuff that just recently came out and I'd like to get. Um, but overall, I mean, how's everyone's uh, week been going so far? Um, i actually been able to complete a lot of stuff this week. I completed uh, my Umbrella Academy set except for the Target exclusive, which should be coming out later this month. Um, oh, I believe either today or to no, it'll have to be tomorrow because it's already 6 30 now. Uh, tomorrow I should have the rest of the boys' pops, and I just finished um, uh, what do you call it? Marvel Zombies. The only one I need is the new one, of course, because it seems like every time I get that close to finishing off a collection, that's when they decide to come up with something new, which is just <laughs> infuriating. Hello, Cl uh, Clarissa. Oh, wow, I can't even talk. Um, so yeah, that's basically it right now. Um, I'm kind of glad that I was able to get all those things, uh, settled. Um, so most likely tomorrow night I'm going to be filming about, uh, let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, uh, about five or six videos. I'm going to just pound them all out in one, one evening. And, uh, yep. LBD is just putting on his makeup and hair. Um, he, he likes to be made up, which I give him credit. I mean, when you look at this fugly mug, I mean, you Although, the past couple of days have been horrible. Um, we've been getting a lot of uh, pollen in the air. So, every morning is a morning regiment. I wake up puffy-eyed, can't breathe, and generally just want to scratch the palate of my throat out. So, I've been living on um, antihistamines, which, if this continues, I might just um, see about other options. Because I'm not a fan of needles, although this seems to be the season of needles. Uh, maybe I might just get an allergy test and finally get it over and done with and get a needle. And so I can make it through the spring and summer. Find the older I get, the worse allergies get. Hey, Dead Zone, how you doing, man? Are you slaving away, man? Oh, uh, wow. It's been a while since I've actually had to hold up uh, by myself. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to... I'm going to iterate this a few times, actually, while people are here. Um, so, the initial theory, I say theory because, you know, they keep uh, pushing it back, is not this weekend, but next weekend, we're finally getting out of lock lockdown. Uh, finally getting, I guess, our parole, which will be nice here in Canada. Um, now, granted, it's not like they're going to, you know turn the key and everything's going to go back to normal, but they're going to slowly start opening up things. I will actually like to start going out and doing um, hunt videos, which was my master plan. That's why I bought this camera. I bought the gimbal, which is basically, oh, sounds like fun, man. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we've gotten rain, but the problem is, is where I'm at specifically it's known as the fruit basket of Ontario. And so we have a lot of pollinating trees because there's a lot of fruit trees here. Just to give you an idea, in the wild, you can find pears, plums, peaches, apples, cherries, um, mulberry, uh, mulberry trees, uh, raspberries. These are just things that randomly grow out anywhere that you can find, you know, if you go along anywhere along the Bruce Trail, you can sometimes find them as well. And, oh, I forgot, and lots and lots and lots of abandoned, um, uh, what do you call it, grape or, uh, vineyards uh, from days past. So, uh, a lot of pollinating plants here. 
not no not not the beautiful well-written anime that has a diverse story and characters that are timeless and classic as the day is long um but yeah so or was i so you get all these pollens and then you got the spruce trees now if you've ever seen a video of a spruce tree when it pollinates it's not a little layer of pollen the streets actually run yellow with pollen it's just it's ridiculous so anyways uh basically what i need to do is i need to actually just get off my ass get an allerg um, get my allergies checked out and uh get it over and done with and move on with life but and what i want to get at though is and what my main purpose was um so we're getting out and i'm kind of getting cabin fever along with the rest of my fellow country men and women and i want to do a giveaway so what i'm going to do next wednesday and I'm hoping for the little amount of people that are here right now, they can get the word out. I'm going to do a live giveaway. Now, how the giveaway is going to work is I'm going to do a my first Kahoot. I'm in the middle of setting it up, which uh, is really fun. It's it's kind of like working on your day off. And I'm enjoying the process. It's a, it's a real, real joy. Uh, it's going to be a Kahoot. The theme will be Canada. So... Uh, my American subscribers, you may want to crack open those ancient, dusty things called books. And uh, it's going to be generalizations of Canadian things. Uh, basically, the top three winners will win uh, something. Now, If because right now shipping is... Um, I'm probably going to do pops for my American, uh, sorry, pops for my Canadian viewers and the dollar value by PayPal for my American viewers, uh, just to make things easier and fair, at least on my pocket. And someone finally showed. Hold oh, on, hello, Mike, I can't, I can't hear you. So it's got, I got something going on on this side. Okay. Well, I'll just go with you. Whoa. There, hey, we, LB. there we go. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. um, because on the YouTube side, I was able to hear you fine. <laughs> uh, I like Laura or play on the Canadian uh, or play Canadian timeline. Um, so well, I, is, hmm? actually, I have a question because I was listening. Obviously, yeah. uh, is there a reason you went with Kahoot? I went with Kahoot because I want to be able to design it the way I want. And I like Mama J's Jeopardy thing. But mm -hmm. for Jeopardy, I think, what is it, like seven categories, ten questions, sorry, six six questions per category. But what about the one that I that I used to use? Well, I still use it, but I haven't used it in a while. Which one's that again? The quizzes one. Mm. It's The only reason I say that is because it's basically a level playing field for everyone. It you know no it doesn't really rely on lag like it's true. not true. Well, that might uh, that could be another option. Regardless, I am still going to do like a, a Canadian themed question. Also, um, I'm also thinking of uh, doing a hey chasing pops. Welcome, man. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a uh, beautiful uh, GoFundMe for LBD and a new microphone. Uh, this microphone will weigh approximately half a ton, so it cannot be knocked over. And if it does, well, clearly it was meant to be. Yeah. Is adamantium uh, an actual thing? No, no. It should be, though. Vibranium? <laughs> Actually, no, adamantium does exist. Sorry. There is a metal called adamantium, but it is not obviously what comic book aficionados believe. Yeah. I actually... The reason I I was late is because I ended up like knocking out and I and the funny is I I put an alarm at six o'clock and I did mm -hmm. wake up, but oh man, it's just one of those days. Uh -huh. And I recorded a, I recorded a damn video and I forgot to turn off the air conditioning and I didn't feel like setting because I record on my phone and yeah. normally when I do that I'll I have a way to jerry rig my microphone to it. And it's not so bad. Like the air conditioner, you can't really hear it when it's the microphone. Mm -hmm. But if I don't plug in the microphone, it'll it'll be loud. Like you'll hear the air, you'll hear the AC for sure. Yeah. So now I got to figure out whether to reshoot it or to just bite the bullet and you know you know next why time. You, why don't you just do a voiceover? Uh, no, seriously. I mean. Just do a, do a little parentheses before the video. Hey, Andrew, what's up? Hey, buddy. 
Uh, um, but yeah, um, just put a parenthesis at the beginning of the video. Say, hey, look, I uh, audio issues, and so this one will have a voiceover, and then you can easily just you know sit there, play the video in Filmora, and then just record your voiceover that way. But this time, when you do the voiceover, you're gonna have to turn the AC off. Yeah. Also, I was doing with. A Oh my god, the, the kid today decided for some reason to do something that you, you it's obviously you're not supposed to do it and this one and she's basically been punished all day. And I feel like when I took a nap, she just like took advantage a little bit mm -hmm. and kinda was acting up. But as soon as I woke up and I heard something, it got real quiet, real fast. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, you know, ever since they stopped allowing it to handcuff kids to radiators, it's, the world is just, the world has just changed drastically. At least I'm, you know not to go outside because normally, normally she would like be outside for a few hours today, even like whether it's with the neighbor upstairs or with my mother or whatever. Sometimes, obviously, sometimes with me, but sometimes I'm doing some work or I'm getting some stuff prepped. So it's basically the neighbors, my babysitter. Oh. Uh, for the record, people, I am not condoning the idea of uh, handcuffing kids to radiators. I do realize that some things that get said on live streams have a tendency to get pulled out of context. Yeah. <laughs> um, Andrew, I know, is actually recovering. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. When I talked to Andrew, he let me know he's kind of in recovery. He's being a little bit stubborn, so if anybody wants to hit up Andrew, tell him to stay off his feet. No, no, no. I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Tell Andrew he should stay on his feet. Do a little swing dancing, maybe some tapping. Just, <laughs> do some foot stomping with Monford and Son. You know, really get out there, man. But yeah, apparently he got reamed by his wife, the doctor, um, and like a I think some I think it was like a nurse and somebody else. Uh, and, and then I gave him shit today. Well, I mean, I've uh, I've dealt with stuff from people in the past, especially when it comes to their health. Yeah, it's rough though. I I I can't, you know, because it's the injury is basically similar to where I where I injured my foot last time. So I, I get it. It's not easy, and you don't, you know, he is not the kind of person who wants to stay down. Hey, quick draw. What's up, buddy? What up, quickie? By the way, when talk speaking of that video, that I was there's a reason I mentioned that video that I was recording because it was an A OK. And it was a random box that got to my house. I didn't know what it was. And I opened the random box first, and it was your stuff. My stuff? Yeah, from Walmart. All the Ghostbuster stuff showed up? Yeah, that's what it was. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to show this because I'm like, this is somebody else's stuff. I'm going to put this aside. I was like, yeah, but it's here. Jeez, I didn't even get a shipping notice. Yeah, it's here. And uh, they basically, they, they packed it with a crap ton of airbags. So, you just, and, you just sent, and you just sent out a box. <laughs> I know. Well, it, wouldn't have, it wouldn't have fit in there, though. No, I know that for a fact. Yeah, it wouldn't have. Oh. Fit. Also, I got to check them over. I, like, since I was in the middle of recording, I didn't get it. I didn't want to pull them out, so I just, you know, I set them aside. No, no, it's, it's it's fine, dude. It's absolutely fine. Um, what was I gonna say? Because uh, it turned out they showed up here at. I shouldn't say they showed up. In a blink of an eye, it showed up on the, the Canadian site. Whoa. Uh, it showed up on the Canadian site, and then it disappeared just as quickly. Sorry, I, I was playing. Hey, boy. Game. Sometimes the game is what's acting up. Uh, well, that's well, we said we figured it out. It's because it's fallen off the table how many times that you know of? I don't know, man. Maybe two or three times that I can remember. Yeah, and the problem is, is that they, they have... Um, I had somebody take. Uh, I watched a um, because I wanted to make sure that if this mic went up or broke, I could fix it. Yeah. No, I know. I know exactly. And I, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it's funny. I probably know somebody who can fix this damn thing. Mm -hmm. But it, it honestly, it comes down to it'll probably be easier just to buy a new one at that point. Like if that person had this microphone, it wouldn't be an issue. But it would cost probably more in pieces to fix it than it would. Well, my recommendation is to pick up the uh, the Yeti, uh, the mini Yeti, and then you get the the weighted stand, so you can just as soon as you're done recording or anything, you unplug it because that's what I'm because I'm gonna get rid of this arm, 
and I'm going to get just a normal stand. So that way it sits in the middle of the table. And then when I'm done, I can just unplug it yeah. and then put it on, put it on the table with the rest of the camera equipment. Cause that's what I've been doing with this camera. It, is, it doesn't sit on the desk anymore. Cause it was like, I have it on the desk and I'm blocking the screen and that defeats the purpose of having three screens. Yeah. What's up, bro? Yeah. yeah I saw that new PX exclusive Iron Man with the glow. You know, what's funny. Um, bro, if you ever seen the, the hot toy of that, where it comes with the whole gantry system, I actually took that down to dead zone. Uh, when I flew out there to take them some stuff mm -hmm. and man, that sucker's heavy and it's delicate too. It's a delicate hot toy for sure. So let's let's guess what um quick draw won. Um Zombie uh, Gambit. Uh really? Or Black Light Gambit. I don't know. Well no, uh, I, I I have an idea what he won. It's it's probably uh uh let's see, he, he, he likes to make comments about me, so I'm gonna say he won uh fifty pound tub of uh KY and a generous helping of sausages. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got nothing. But, yes. uh, how, wow. Hold on. I thought, I thought he was like, uh, bro. Hey, Claire. Just Good morning. A, okay, did you just wake up too? Retirement is exhausting. Uh, I took I, such a great nap just now. So did I. That's why I was late. Oh my god, I just I only woke up because the dogs barked. Hi, Hello. Sean. I'm sorry I'm late. Don't apologize. You, you guys aren't Hello, employees. Everyone. Oh my say, you guys god. Aren't employees. You're not, you're not it was like amazing. What a beautiful, wonderful nap. I ate and it just knocked me out. Um, same here. <laughs> <laughs> uh he won the second print of the first yeah. appearance of Miles Morales Miles Morales. That's awesome, dude. That is a mouthful, man. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Quick draw. What do you want a comic book? book? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, anything that Miles Morales is is gonna be hot eventually, no matter what, because that character has so much, so much behind it right now. People are obsessed with it, especially after the film, and they're gonna continue that for sure. Well, um, I was just telling. Uh, before you hopped on, Claire, just telling everyone, uh, next week I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to basically be giving away two pops on on the stream live. Uh, we're doing like a Canadian uh, Canada getting out of lockdown party. Oh, apparently not this weekend, but next weekend. As long as the government doesn't arbitrarily decide to change the date, because well, I don't know whatever reasons, um, we'll be out of lockdown next uh, that weekend. So, um, granted, I'll be working, but at least I'll be able to enjoy it on my day off. So, um, I was going to do a giveaway of two pops. Um, now, how I'm doing it is anybody, obviously, on this side of the border will get the pops. Anybody on the other side will get the dollar value sent to them in, as um, PayPal, which they can use to purchase and get whatever they want. Nice. Very nice. Hi, guys. Hi, chat. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Because <laughs> I actually have two AOKs that I want to send out, and those are going to cost. <laughs> Quick draw, I would I would do it, man. Honestly, I, I'm thinking about doing it with my Camilla Khan one. Uh, the album, the, because the those um the album cover ones, they're very popular. The Miles Morales one, if you have a nine, yeah, and useful, is real expensive. What's up, Tori? Hi, Tori. So Hi, when, you Lisa. Say, when you say clean and pressed, you just like take an iron to it, and you know. I asked that same question the other day. I was like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> Oh, I know, I know what it means, but I also know how to get an eye roll. So it's it's worth the eye roll. Yeah, I just <laughs> okay. gave you one. It's like when uh, somebody really loves uh, football, and you go, "Oh, you mean pointy ball?" See, if if Claire would ask, you know, it's fine because I know she doesn't know. But it, it I give you an eye roll because I know you know. <laughs> also, I just want to see the horrified look on someone's face when they take an iron to a comic. Don't what are you doing? Fine. No, my local guy. He said he he just started like when I went when they when they when they used to go and pick up stuff there. Um, I just cause I just stopped doing comics because it gets out of hand really quick. Like if you think pops are are a problem, comics only cost you like probably three hey, bucks. I know somebody <laughs> who took the, I took the plaster off their uh, guest room, so they had an attic, but it wasn't like a completed attic. And he needed to put comics away. So he knew that the heat wasn't going to destroy them if he had them properly sealed, right? So he put pieces of plywood up there. And all he kept doing was putting 
comic boxes on top of boxes on top of boxes. Well, plywood, when it gets warm, gets a little weak and warpy. So eventually, the weight of the boxes, because it was sitting between joists, broke through the plywood, hmm. came through the plaster. And, you, and if you know anything about plaster, plaster doesn't make a clean hole. It will take everything else around it out. Yeah. yeah. So he came home one day and in this guest room where he had a had like a bed and a shelf and whatever was all covered in plaster, broken comic book boxes and just mess everywhere. <laughs> and of course, you know, as good friends, we, we made the, uh, the kind assessment of going, you know, you know, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> as if, yeah. as if now, as if the after telling is always helpful. <laughs> Hindsight is 2020. <laughs> I, I don't do that to people though, because it drives me nuts. Like, you know, you shouldn't have lit your house on fire. Now you're homeless. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Huh. Your skills and abilities are wasted here. Quick. There are so many crimes that that are obviously solve, solvable. Go. <laughs> My favorite line for people like that is, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I just look at people and go, how, how have you managed to get, uh, go this long without getting onto a superhero team with that power? <laughs> <laughs> So my bat, my rechargeable batteries are finally charged, so I can finally use my black light. I'm so happy for you, buddy. Yeah, because I, I opened a, a pop of one of the C today for sure, and I have like at least two that I haven't checked the glow out because of that. I, I haven't put my batteries charged. I'm impressed on how well that glow turned out on that Godzilla that I did. It's well, that pop glows really well, and then you have a, a good way of showing that glow so i'm not surprised at all yeah it takes forever though because it takes about five like claire you you saw the godzilla that i did right uh, the glow mm -hmm. it takes yes. five minutes to develop each angle so that's like a 20 minute process and it only takes a second to push the button so after you set everything up line it up make sure the ta table's stable make sure everything like there's no light sources in the room that's the other fun part because you never realize how many little tiny things have lights on them Yep. I've actually gone over to the fuse box and just shut the power off to the living room. <laughs> Instead of like going up and like turning every little thing off and unplugging it, it's just, you know what, screw it. And then you sometimes you get the crack of light coming from the outside. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's what happened with the first the first picture I did. Yeah. I took I took a picture and I was like like even the far end of the room, like the very back there where you guys see, that bathroom lights on all the time. There's enough light radiation that it will actually show up on the sensor. Pull it on the chair. Uh, but like I said, um, how I... Uh, actually, I can unplug this. I use my Google Pixel. And I use the night mode, which you have to wait for the night mode to kick in. And then as soon as it does, you push it, and then it will give you a counter of how long it will take. And then all you do is you just literally sit there. <laughs> And hope to God, nothing, no trucks come by, nothing shakes because um, this building moves when large semis go down the street. And I've seen that happen, like on this. So, you know, I've never tried uh, taking a picture with the night mode on my note or on my iPhone. No. Um, my only recommendation, regard, I don't know about iPhones because I've never tried. But my only recommendation is if you're going to take a picture on um I'm sorry. If you're going to take a picture using the night mode, use a tripod, block all light out, have whatever you have sitting on a black like a piece of black cloth, elevate it so it's in the middle of the frame. And patience. That's probably the number one thing. Uh that was a knock it off. <laughs> Just saying her name. So you make snap right. That's how, that's what woke me up. Oh. There we go. Now I I, I got a good light to uh, charge that sucker up. I love the way the helmets came out. Thanks, Claire. Yeah. I'm, the I'm picture really was pretty happy. awesome. Yeah. I I told you I was gonna rearrange them, so I was able. To, it looks a little better. The one that's hard to get actually is the Black Panther. I might have to move them. Ooh. I'm gonna have to move them down. And seriously, dude, suck it up. Go on Kijiji, find some failed podcaster, and just buy his equipment. 
I don't get it. What happened? Oh, okay, so Clara, the microphone that he has is a very good microphone. But the problem with the best microphones you ever buy, they have incredibly sensitive parts in it. Yeah. That unfortunately they do not handle abrupt stops when gravity's involved, i.e., falling. Yeah. Yeah. And so every time you drop one of them or you knock them over or some horrible thing happens to them, those parts can become unaligned. And when they do, you get weird artifacts like he's getting. Like sometimes he'll get that that chirping, that, like the bird that we hear, yeah. or occasionally we'll hear his That's air conditioner that sounds like a 747 taxing to take off. Yeah. <laughs> Is because the sensor in it is is misaligned. Yeah, uh, isn't well, it, it? Does it cost that much to take it somewhere or send it back yeah, to the company it, to have it fixed? It's, it's you're working. better off just buying a new one at that point. Yeah, unless you know how to fix it yourself, it, it you're just better but, off. Yeah, I mean, the last thing I ever fixed that was finite was a um, video card because a capacitor blew out of it. And luckily, it was a common capacitor, but someone gave me a list of all the parts that were in this. And that was like the second cheapest part in it. Huh. <laughs> it might be a video on YouTube that you might be able to do it yourself. Because, I mean, there's there's stuff for everything at YouTube. So. What I was trying to say before the, before my microphone started acting up was that the hardest one was to do was this one, the Black Panther. Because it had such a, like a, like a long bottom. And it's kind of like a pointy bottom, so it when it lays, it 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 hits most of the helmets on top. So I might have to actually switch the the Mandalorian helmets on the, to to the top. I I think it that's the only problem I'm having. But you know I may I know that way that it it's kind of throwing everything off because of the way it is. Could you I not? You, sh you should put the two Mandalorians on top, and then yeah. the two that are non Mandalorian. Or Star Wars on the bottom. Yeah. Could you could you not put foam in the um in the helmet just so that way it sits properly? No, because it 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 sits properly. That's not uh, the problem. It's the uh, shape of the Black Panther helmet. Oh, uh, okay. Is the issue? Yeah. Elongated. It's got like a long chin. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. And yeah. then the Mandalorian ones are nice and like kind of roundish. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I think it would or, be better. Or it's like I'm not allowed to repair anything. <laughs> she must be dangerous with a uh, with a screwdriver. I had a friend of mine who repaired everything with a hammer. No, I, I you know what's crazy. The the person I'm seeing right now, she's real handy. Like she made uh like a pokeball looking shelf. I think I've shown uh, Illuminati before. She made that all out of like paper and wire and stuff like that herself, and put it up on the wall. She's got like this lighting thing going on. It's insane. She's real handy. I'm like. How the hell do you make all these things? It's like, I look it up and I just fi she figures out how to do it. I, I don't have a creative hair in my in my body. I don't. I don't. I'm not a very creative person. I'm not. I'm just... You want to you want to hear something funny about regarding like repairing stuff? Okay, so you know how stoves have like um like an enamel paint on them, right? So you don't touch the metal frame of the of it. Mm -hmm. So I had I moved into a place and I had a f um, stove where the corner was chipped out, so you'd actually see the metal. Now, talk about a 1,000 chance. I had my hand on that while I was leaning over to grab the sink to turn the water on so I could put a pan in. Well, touching the metal on that one little corner, and as soon as I grabbed the faucet, that's when I learned that the place has no grounding. Like, the ground is just there for... for and I completed a, a minor circuit. And all I felt... It felt like a, a cigarette on the palm of my hand. Oh, damn. And I ended up with a little welt, and I was like, no way in hell. Okay, so Sean, who, you know, likes to figure out how things work, goes, and <laughs> goes into his um, his electronic box and finds al his alligator clips and thin wire. And I'm like, so I, I alligator clip the, um, the sink. I bring the wire over as far as I can, and I'm, it's arcing. And I'm going, are you kidding me? So I pull the stove out, and I'm checking the ground with my uh, voltage meter. I'm like, this thing's not even grounded. And then I'm going like to the other outlets of the house going, how the hell did this guy, nothing in there was grounded. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hi, Andrew. Yeah. Where is Andrew? I mean, he's in the chat. He is, cur he is currently uh, engaged with a familial uh, gathering. Ah. Uh, yes. 
he, he, any, anybody who catches him talking about walking around should yell at him. He's not supposed to walk around. Sometimes. Uh, did you hear what Target's now going to be allowing people to do as of uh, yesterday? No. People are allowed. They're going to slowly start reintroducing Pokemon cards and collectible um, cards back yeah. into the store. And only allowing purchases of two packs, sorry, two packs per person. Thank you, Chasing Pop. Yes, uh, if you guys, um, please, uh, if you can, uh, hit that hit that like button. That really does help me out. It gets uh, gets the, the word out. But, um, yeah. So I'm sitting there going, great. So how many people are going to go, well, I'm buying two. This is my son. This is my daughter. This is her boyfriend. This is Uncle Larry and Aunt June. And <laughs> just, about the same, just the same amount of people that do it for pops. No, 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 no. But None of them look alike. None of them are family. <laughs> just about the same amount of people who do it for pops. <laughs> you know what? Actually, there's a really good aftermarket. Not for flippers, for people that want to pretend to be part of other people's family just so they can get what they want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to stand out at Target and go to uh, services, you know. <laughs> I'll be I'll be whatever you want, honey. <laughs> I'm your private buyer buying Pokemon cards. <laughs> Yeah, you be whatever I want, and you end up in the wrong house. Uh, I was excited. Wow, the good. And they, I guess they're getting a lot of uh, people complaining and whatnot, writing and and you know, I mean it's ridiculous the way that they're treating you know. I, it's, all they're stopping is their own employees from being flippers. That's it. Chasing pops, what would you consider good pops? Like, what was behind like clothes? I know that's what I want to know. That was locked up. Yeah, that's probably the black light stuff. Hi, Clarissa. That would that yeah. would be that would be my assumption, honestly. Probably that this, would be it, because that's about the only. I know this month the Avatar one. There's an exclusive Avatar that comes out, and then I think is it next month that they said that the Eddie Brock uh, black lights coming out. I can't remember. In theory. <laughs> yeah, so. but yeah, it's 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 severely and utterly ridiculous. Um, and the funny part is, we don't have that issue here with collectors. I think the only problem we have with collect, like here in Canada, this we have what we call the flipper secondary market for Funko Shop exclusive items. And I've told you guys before, and I told anyone that's watched any of my videos or live streams. Jesus Christ, man, you, you get a Funko exclusive here in Canada and you're like, yeah, I'll do it for cost to somebody. You have like five other flippers going, what the hell are you doing, man? It's like it's like the gas stations. Apparently, everyone agreed on a set price so nobody <laughs> can get a deal. <laughs> and as soon as that one guy who's the rebel goes, no, I'm going to sell gas what it's worth. <laughs> I remember you telling me about that. That's happened to you a couple times, too. Oh, it does. It does. Like some, I've had somebody. Sorry, I've had it happen in a couple ways. I've had one where someone's come up aggressively saying, "What the hell, man? Why are you undercutting me?" And then I had somebody come up to me and act like I didn't know what I was doing. And go, "Hi, I noticed you were uh, selling it lower than it's worth. You know, it's worth this much." Uh, yeah. Here's my YouTube channel. Here's my Instagram. I think I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's That's funny it's the only time I've ever flexed with anybody because like I don't want to get into a long philosophical debate of what I do with my own stuff so I'm just going to show you what I do yeah. and therefore if you you can do your own research that way you're not going to sit there and go well maybe you just don't know what you have whoa okay buddy next whatnot it's called LVD Mike whatnot I don't care if you go on Newegg and get yourself a Plantronics $2 mic clip microphone. <laughs> You're getting a new mic. Yeah, well, I already told you what my first purchase is going to be with this money that is coming in now. Because that, that, that hassle of taping those labels, dude, no. You, well, you saw it. You're like the only person who's ever... You're the only person on YouTube that has seen the hassle of the tape, of like taping those labels down with one hand. It's not fun. He's I actually, can't imagine how. That he's absolutely be. lying. In fact, he uses both hands and a third arm. That's what it's called now. Okay, sure. <laughs> well, I mean, the fact that you got a prehensile is pretty impressive. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, um, all all jokes aside, seriously, man, hell, I'd even buy you a new microphone and just take it out in shipping at this point, considering how often I ship stuff out to your place. <laughs> seriously. Hell, I'd even buy myself a new microphone and give you my old one. <laughs> I used to, what did I use before? I used to use a camera mic. I didn't use um anything else. Well, I think it also has I don't know. I th I think this is the trick. I think any microphone he gets from now on, it, it needs to have a, a, a not the base that it comes with, but a, a weighted counter uh, a weighted base. So the chances also, of it getting also when I got this microphone, the kid was a lot smaller and she was always touching stuff and now she doesn't touch my stuff. <laughs> you know, this microphone is at least two years old now, about Yeah, this this one's about two and a half. Although I don't know how it gets crud all over it. Like I've I've cleaned it more times than I care to. No, you know what's crazy? I've had to clean this desk here like like really like that like this oh. side of Oh yeah, you'll find with glass desks, by the way. Yeah, it, it will show every piece of dust. No, but you know what's crazy? It's mostly on like on this side that I. Actually hey, Golden. Did. The side over there has been pretty like clean. I haven't had any issues with it. It's I think it's this side because more stuff is here. Like there's more going on on this end, so that's probably what it is. LBD. It doesn't matter. It's glass. It will always show dust. It doesn't matter. You could have it in a v v room with no airflow, vacuum sealed, and you'll come <laughs> back a week later, and you will be able to write your grocery list on it. I don't get where the hell all the dust comes from. I mean, I and it's horrible because there's so many. You know how well, much crap there's in here to dust. It, Claire, the window that's open on the other side of this monitor on this side of the screen here, okay? It's yellow on the other side of the monitor because I haven't, I have to unplug the monitor, put it on the floor and then like get behind there and, and wipe down. And the reason why it's yellow is because of pollen. It's all uh, pollen. And the only reason I don't, because it's caked on because it rained, because remember when I had that rain, I want to do it properly. So that way I don't put it back into the air. Cause that's the last thing I need is somebody who has allergies is to wipe all that pollen off and then sit there and spend the, you know, the better part of the afternoon and look, you know, Ready to claw my eyes out. For air. No, it's uh, not even. It's not even the asthma. The asthma I can control. It's the eyes. Yeah, like the other day, yeah. my eyes were swattering so hard and so puffy. I looked at myself and I was like, I look like I was like an extra twenty years older. My eyes were just talking about looking a certain age. My barber, she completely lost, like almost lost the crap when I told her how old, how old I was. She couldn't believe how old I was. Well, you're what sixteen, right? No. <laughs> but um, yeah. That was interesting. Then, then after my haircut, though, she pulled me aside, asking me for advice. I was like, okay. That was funny. It's crazy, it, and and I don't open my when at least not on this half. I open them in that half of the apartment, and it mm -hmm. I don't know where all that dust, and it's like a white dust. It's like it's <sighs> no but, here. Well, because we have we have factories. If I you ever look at handed. pardon, I think it's from the dogs too. I think uh, the well, dogs have a big thing to do with it. The dander of the dog when they shake, yeah, Spe especially especially the um, certain um, smaller dogs um, have more dander than they have obviously fur. Oh no! This, got, let me tell you, these dogs I never knew Chihuahuas shed as much oh, as they do. Oh oh, and you know what the fun part about Chihuahua hair is. You know the small, small ones that they have. You can't pick them out of you. It's, it's yeah. Ridiculous. You ever have you gotten stuck with one yet? Like for some reason, in the fabric of your shirt, it lines up with like you know how fabric is, right? Like it's a oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 and it will get caught in between the fabric, so it's like perfectly aligned. And then mm -hmm. for some reason, maybe you tapped yourself on the shoulder or you leaned against a wall or something, and that hair. It's like a needle. Yeah, it just. By the way, just to answer quick draw, like I needed a new <laughs> table, buddy, and. I was gonna buy something. I was gonna buy something. I was gonna enjoy and it looks nice, yeah, and sturdy because this sucker is heavy and you would need to like. Really <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. No, no, he's he's pointing out that the fact that you 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 basically bought a disco floor like <laughs> for a table, <laughs> and he's going well. At least your your sound sounds good. Yeah, well, dude, my 
my I was gonna have to pay just about the same. I would have bought a decent desk anyway. So oh, I, I, dude, I'm glad you got a desk. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying, in order of importance, at least from your for as often as you use it, I would say a chair first for your whatnots because, quite frankly, it's no. much. I like the beginning of Thriller with the squeaky door. I don't want to hear it on a whatnot. You would say that, but here's the thing: this place with this that with that desk that I had, yeah, you see my old desk. There was so much stuff lost behind the damn desk that I couldn't get to. Okay, okay, but L L L V D, that that hill has been climbed. It's, it's fine. You have, you have the desk, but I'm saying importance of things that need to be replaced. Desk, microphone, chair. My new chair and microphone are kind of 50 50 and 50 50 because he you know it's twice a week that he goes live, really. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't squeak so much on the lies with his chair. It's the whatnot that it's like. Oh no no I've no had... I no no yeah I, I agree I was <laughs> there the I had to shut the, the damn thing off because I couldn't deal with it. Well, the whatnot the whatnot is using the phone microphone, so I can't do anything about that. It's one. like no, his no. cheeks were talking to each other. No no I just I no I LBD it's it's nothing like I said I just find it funny because I had like I had a I had an earpiece in my ear in one oh, ear and I had a customer in the other and I was like. Hello, sir. Can I get your address, please? And then you moved, and I was like, "Of course, you know your first impulse is to yell, Jesus Christ!" But you got a customer in the microphone, it's like, it's like, and I literally took the earpiece out and I put it on the table, and because the resonance of your chair on the microphone, uh, sorry, on the um, earpiece, was enough to get it to dance on the table every time you moved your m moved your ass. Like I knew that you were moving by when I could watch the little earpiece dance across the table. Hi, Nadia. <laughs> Hey Nadia, that? welcome. That's crazy. No, no, uh, Dead Zone. I would. Here's two things. I would like to see Arizona. Don't get me wrong. I think it'd be a really cool experience. I've never, because I've grown up in an area where, I mean, I could show you right now outside. Everything's green. There's not an ounce of like desert anywhere around here, obviously, and it's full of waterfalls and fruit trees and all that other stuff. But I've never seen been out in a place where it's like. Literally, if you take the time to walk out, you're, you know, there's nothing there. Like, I'm not used to that. That would be an experience. Are you negotiating with the wee one? No, she was trying to negotiate with me and I told her no. And she knows, she knows better. And it's funny. She tried to negotiate after I heard, after I woke up and I heard her acting a fool. And as soon as I said her name, it got real quiet. I remember helping my uh, friend babysit his niece and nephew, and the, we were sitting in the living room shooting the breeze with a bunch of other people. And I said, you guys notice something? I'm like, what? I said, listen. And five adults sitting in, in the living room go, oh, Jesus, it is quiet. And we all scattered. Like, two people ran upstairs to check to see what the kids were on to. Three, uh, two of us ran downstairs to the basement to make sure they weren't, like, playing with a washing machine or something. And somebody checked the backyard. And yeah, they, they were out in the backyard playing. Nobody was hurt. Nobody was crying. Like they were actually the rare instance, like six kids could actually get along without somebody trying to be, you know, the leader. It was and we're like, oh, and we all go back. It's like, why, why did you notice that? Because I said, no offense, but your niece, man, she cries at the drop of a goddamn dime. And I hadn't heard her cry once. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, well, that's not on me. That's oh, Harley. Somebody re uh, revving okay. their Harley outside because <laughs> I remember one. I remember one Harley driver once told me, he's like, "You know why it's so loud? It's to make sure people don't hit us." I said, "Are you sure that's not like an incentive for somebody?" Yeah, really. <laughs> I had a I had a neighbor who his Harley used to be so loud it'd wake me up because he 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 was a, a steel worker, so he'd come home at like you know because they work in shift work, and he'd work the afternoon, so he'd be coming home like around midnight. And so at one point it got so bad that I literally stayed up until midnight standing in the driveway waiting for him. <laughs> Here the shit out of him. Wasn't my intentions, right? Because I was like sitting on a we had like a gar like a little garbage homemade garbage bin where you put so I'm sitting on top of that and I'm just like um waiting for him and he shows up and I'm like, hey, he's like, what a that's my bedroom window, man. Every night. Every night. I got uh I don't have you're lucky you're not here because then they would have done it on purpose every night. More. No, no, he no, he because he lived in the building. He's like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. So what he would do is he'd gain a little speed while he was coming down the street, shut the engine off, and coast into the driveway to his parking spot. 
Uh, that was nice of him. I'm telling you, he actually would have done the opposite. Well, no, because I just sat. They would have sat on it in front of the building and revved it a couple of times. You know. I oh. think it had to do with the fact that we lived in the same building and he worked shift work and I worked shift. Work. No, because I. Wouldn't I matter. It wouldn't matter. Uh, <laughs> no, I never had it. For the most part, yeah, it wouldn't matter. Hey. No, yeah, I I've never no, I've never had any problems with with bikers. I mean, I've only had once when I worked at Pizza Pizza, some guy claimed that he was part of some affiliation, and I and I I told him up front, I said, I don't believe you. Why? Well, you said the magic word. You said you never had problems with bikers, but here there yeah. wanna be bikers. Uh, it's totally different. Here we call those leather sniffers. <laughs> Seriously, one of these. Well, no, leather sniffers, because as soon as they see an actual biker, they're like, hey, hey, hi. Yeah, look, I got a bike. <laughs> you know, they're, <laughs> and, and, a lot, and a lot of um, what we call affiliates, because people are part of different groups, uh, they, they basically, it's like, yeah, go away. But no, I've never had any, I've only had once where somebody said that they were a part of somebody, and I, I, I literally on the phone said, I don't believe you. Why? I said, I've met people that you're claiming to be a part of. And they don't advertise that fact. They don't need to advertise that. It's not the point of being a part of that group and having to advertise it. So you're either a fish or a wannabe. And you're arguing over a pizza. So I'm going to guess you're a wannabe. So either pay the driver or don't, or we call the police. Because he's like, if you call the cops, I'm going to, I said, you're going to what? You're going to fight the police over a pizza? Okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Go right ahead. Please, please do it. I didn't say that. I didn't egg them on, but I was like, go for it. <laughs> and any club you're a part of will look at you and go, you're drawing way too much heat over stupid shit. Yeah, out. you're out of here. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's one of the rare times I've ever actually ever called anybody on their bullshit or something like that because I was so annoyed. And my boss going, you know, you shouldn't have done that. You could get in trouble. It's like, that's worth it at this point. I really don't. I was like near my last year there. Cause it was just, it's funny. I've worked for this place, this new place now for what, since November. And aside from obviously some agents that have made things more difficult on themselves, the customer has been fine. I've only had recently one customer and he wouldn't answer any of my questions and was a complete, but it was like, okay, cool. If I'm going to deal with like one person every nine or eight months, as opposed to where I was getting up every morning going, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, hold on. Let's take a look. I'm going to take a look at something while we're talking. Um, so Claire, any, anything, any new purchases, anything you've wanted? No, I'm, 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 um, I've, um, you know, I had said that come June 1st, I was going, if I bought anything, mm -hmm. Luna, I was going to be extremely picky. So I haven't really been, um, been buying very much this week or even last week. Uh, well, they've been putting um, a lot of stuff recently. But, and, and, and they've been dropping stuff like, at the Funko shop, all those uh, uh, Seinfeld pops, not yeah. interested. Uh, well, the one they dropped cool. today, the thing, whatever that was, trash. Yeah. Infinity Warps, so it's kind of like not interested. Huh. So. Looks like my microphone's on sale. No, I was just looking at the um, my microphone and seeing how much it was going to cost because I was actually just going to buy it and ship it to you. <laughs> It's eighty nine dollars. That is pretty cheap. It's insanely cheap. That. Well, considering it was one hundred and thirty when I bought it. Which one do you have? Oh, you have the same one I do, don't you? No, I have the Yeti Nano. I got the Nano, which is the smaller one. I didn't get the full size one. Okay. Because the reason why is my master plan. Before the world decided to go, <laughs> watch this. Um, I was planning on doing like going out and doing lives and stuff like that because I had a data plan on my phone that could support me doing like high res and all that stuff. And I bought a, gim I bought a gimbal and everything and I was ready and good to go. And um, then the world decided to take a shit on my plans along with everybody else's. And we entered into the twilight zone. Yeah. <laughs> Where I realized that almost 90% of my purchases, no, not even nine, probably more now, 
thanks to Funko Ween, um, are all virtual purchases. I have not stepped foot in a store. Hey, Smitty, welcome, man. I have Hello, not. Smitty. I have not stepped foot in a store since. Oh shit! Maybe the beginning of January. Since, uh, New York, uh, NYCC? No. No, you didn't. no, no. After that. January, I like after uh, it was after New Year's, and I stepped into a hot topic. And uh, oh no, no, the last place was no, it was EB Games because the girl asked me, she's like, Why did you cancel all your in store pre orders? Because oh, yeah. I shifted them to online. She's like, Why? I said, Because honestly, statistically speaking, you guys have been open about less time than it would have taken me to get it if I had bought it online from the store. And the other reason she was upset was because each is EB Games and GameStop stores. They're based on their units that they sell. Yeah. And she told me that. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I have a channel. I want to do content. I can't sit there and go, hey, guys. So good news. When everything opens up, whenever that is. No, and you know what the crazy part is? Even if they did open up, it's not even nope. 100% they would get a bunch of stock of what you pre-ordered. Exactly. That happened to me. I pre-ordered something right before the lockdown, mm -hmm. and when everything opened up for the first time, like, oh yeah, sorry, we only got one of them. And the first person, whatever, got it. And I was like, yeah, the first person, meaning the person who works here, because that's exactly who got it. I, and I knew it because I knew I knew somebody who knew. So I was like, you know what, whatever. I already had ordered because I saw it go up online again during the during the lockdown. So I just decided I was like, you know what, I'll order it online, and if if it, if we open up and I get it at the store first, I'll just cancel it. And I ended mm -hmm. up getting the online order before anything else. So I'm happy I got it. Exactly. That, that, that was kind of upsetting that it basically, you know, nothing nothing that was pre-ordered came in or either, either it didn't come in at all or it, only like two of them came in and then you were lucky if you got it. Exactly. I just, and well, my, my deal is just the basis of it's like, I know it sounds really horrible, but it is such a f well, who cares? We're all adults here. It's such a fucking hassle and task now to go out in the world, especially. Okay, I uh, granted, I am I am not in the best of shape. I'm in the worst shape I've ever been in my life. I admit that, and I and I'm doing everything I can to curve that. However, as an asthmatic in the summertime, I'm sorry, but occasionally I'm going to have to take my inhaler just because I live in a city with that has nothing but factories. Probably I'm living in the worst place in Ontario to live in if you have respiratory issues. But as soon as you go and pull out an inhaler or you're wheezing or you sound like you're, you know, having difficulty breathing, you get the you get you get people that either give that give you the look, which is fine, I don't care, whatever. But then you get the, you know, I know better people. You know, are you sure you should be out in public? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty certain of that. Well, you sound like you're having a hard time breathing, and you know with everything going on. Wait, something going on? Like, mind your business, please. I'm taking my inhaler. I am ignoring. I'm sitting away from you. Like, because <laughs> I, I once took my mask off to take my inhaler when I got on a bus, and this lady's going, she literally was giving me a lecture, and I, I had to politely explain to her, say, look, the only time I want a lecture is if I'm sitting in a, in a university or college, or I've paid for a TED Talk. So, could you please, you know, just go back to whatever you were doing, and I'll go back to what I was doing. Yeah. Yes, I, I try to be polite when I'm angry, because I, I find, especially in this day and age, as soon as you go feral, it becomes a game of one-up. <laughs> I haven't had to deal with too much shit, because I, I cross the street, literally, and get in my car, and then, you know. I don't yeah, have well, to deal with too many people and their idiotic behavior. Uh, I, I just hear everybody's walking around without a mask now. It's, it's like it's over, honey. Hey, Cuomo, hey, hey, the hey, god hey. Of, 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 of disease, has you know Whatever. lifted all the restrictions, the restaurants, uh, bars, everything. Everything's open. My everybody's barber. without masks, everybody's partying like. My barber told me, like, oh, yeah, you know, they lifted the restriction. I was like, yeah, because most people are vaccinated. I was like, yeah, I'm not. So I put my mask back on after I got my haircut. And, um, because, you know. Shit, I leave my mask on while getting my haircut. No, well, I, I get it on when I get in my haircut, but when I got a beard, so they, I got to take it oh, off. Oh, okay. So, but when I don't they take do, it off. But when they do the beard, basically what happens is 
you know, they already have their mask on, and then they basically uh, they put on a face shield with the mask, and then you take off your mask and they do your beard. You know, if you had like an anti, st- like a a, ver- a reverse stencil of your beard, you could just use electrical tape and just you know, <laughs> done. Hey, Mitch. Um. Yeah. It it around it it's scary now, but I I didn't get vaccinated, so I will continue wearing my mask, and I don't care who looks at me funny, and whoever makes a comment, it's all gonna depend on. I look at how this I way. feel that day. <laughs> People, people can do what they want, but at the same time, I also believe... Here's the thing. An opinion is fine to have. I don't care. Everyone can have their opinions, and and the trick is to get along with each other, but, you know, the part that bothers me is when you get the unsolicited opinions for someone who thinks they know better for you when they don't know you as a person. Like, right. for instance, you guys are my friends. If you gave me some advice, I would take it to heart. But if some random person on the street that I've never seen in my life, don't know from Adam, come up and tell me, you know, I think your hair is too long. You should cut it. I'd be like, huh. Well, I think you should mind your business. I guess we're in a disagreement. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, that's the kind of stuff that bothers me. And I find with this particular situation in the world, it's given people providence to do that. Because they feel like they're being a hero or they're being an activist or a vigilante or whatever the hell it is. And it's like, okay, I get it. Your intentions are pure. However, your way of going about it isn't. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. that's what I that's what I try to avoid. I'm still gonna, you know, be careful yeah, and and you know, I mean, even at the beach and stuff, the salsa concerts are back and you know, there'll be hundreds. Oh, yeah. I of people imagine. there dancing and, but you know what the funny thing is? It's like, um, with the vaccination card, like they're saying, you're not allowed to ask because it's against HIPAA regulation, and some people are saying they, you can't get in without showing it, and and it's like so much controversy on that now. You know, it's, well, it's, here's here's my thought because I can't speak for your country, but just again, I'm using generalizations here. I believe that large events like concerts, festivals, conventions, I believe because they're privately run and they're not businesses in the sense like they're going to be there all, you know, you know, hey, welcome to Lilith Fair. We're here for now until, you know, female indie rockers no longer become a, you know, a, a thing. Mm-hmm. They're they i believe they should have the right to run it any way they want and reap the benefits or negative benefits because at the end of the day you're choosing to engage whether regardless of what your where your stance is on the subject my and i believe in that respect you you don't have the right to slam slam somebody for how they want to how they want to run things in their own in their because um th- no, quote- that's fine. I don't I don't care. But don't deny me entrance because I'm not vaccinated, but I'm still going to follow the precautions of wearing my mask throughout. You know what I'm but, saying? But, but like, what I'm saying, Claire, is that they have the uh, and this is any business. I believe they have um I don't know if you ever Pendulette used to have a podcast. I don't know if he still does, but he had this really interesting um thing when it came to businesses, regardless, because I, I don't want to go into this too far because trying to have fun here uh, is that he said any business should have the right to run themselves the way they want. And the, and the, the people will decide whether that business succeeds or fails based on the decisions. A great example, anyone who's got some time and just wants to watch a fucking train wreck, watch um, restaurant nightmares. It's the one with Amy's baking company in Arizona. They are no longer existing. It was the only one where Gordon Ramsay walked off set and said, you are beyond my help. <laughs> and that woman was a, f- her name was Amy. She was clearly, you know, in her, in her, the, the bad side of 40 and her husband was on the bad side of 60. And clearly the relationship was based on monetary, uh, was based on monetary ne- but the point is, is that's why that's why I only disagree with you on that basis. Let any business run the way they want, and the people will decide whether the business succeeds or not. End of story. Because they, I mean, there was a business here. They it was a club. The club specifically said people over thirty five are allowed in. 
and people were throwing up bitch fit. And here's the irony. They lasted most than they lasted longer than most of the other nightclubs in the city. And they had the least amount of cops coming at the end of the night going, hi, we're here to arrest your idiots because most of them were 35. Once the club closed at like one o'clock in the morning, people that were sober got in their car and drove home. People that were drunk called a cab or the place called a cab for them and they drove home, and they were home. The amount of fights in the parking lot. <laughs> so I'm just saying you can run a business any way you want. It's just a question of how it's going to succeed or fail. And people can make that decision. But I don't think you have, uh, as a consumer, I don't think people have a right to ostracize a business when they make a certain decision. Just take your money and go elsewhere because there's always going to be somebody that wants your money. Yeah. You're right about that, but there's also rights. The same way they have rights, I have more rights because I'm the, their, their, their success depends on my wallet. Exactly. But you vote with your wallet. That's what I'm saying. Right. You can, no, no, I understand, but they also like, have to follow. I mean, I don't know how it is in Canada, but here most businesses have guidelines from the city and state that they have to follow. Is they just law can't run rogue the way which I mean, oh, imagine that. That would be the wild wild west around here. <laughs> well, based on the charter based on the charter of rights, you have the right as long as you don't discriminate based on race, color, creed, or uh, sexual preference. Um so in other words, if I ran a business and said, okay, my business is specifically going to cater to people. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick age. Uh, I'm running a club and I, and I, and I, no, I'm running a restaurant. I don't want children in here. Right. Right. I can run that business as I want. However, what it comes down to is, is my business going to succeed? Yeah. And Probably not. And it's funny. Some of those businesses, yes. I mean, there's there's a few places that used to be Niagara Falls that were specifically for adults only. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Yeah, it wasn't for the fact that they were, you know, any risk, anything risque. It wasn't that the menu was, you know, special. It wasn't like, you know, Hooters or anything like that. It, it was just. And I'll be honest with you, I've eaten at a um, uh, at a Denny's in Buffalo, and I've been to a restaurant in on the Canadian side that was for adults only, like you know, for people over thirty. Oh my God. What a difference, right? Oh yeah. It was like, I was having a conversation and I went to go to get up and I didn't have to like, look at my feet to make sure I wasn't running into a small child that was zooming by. Yeah. Yeah. It is. A, I mean, I go to one of those restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. You vote with your money. <laughs> very, very true. Hey LJ, what's up? How you doing? It's one of the reasons I don't shop at, um, Oh, what do you call it? Plastic Empire, because they don't ship to Canada. Although they continuously keep sending me emails, even though <laughs> it's like, hey, we got a new product. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but you won't ship to me. So, knock it off. I actually want to cancel an order with them, because it, it's taking forever, and I'm like, this stuff, that, stuff that's out already, it's not new stuff, it's stuff that came out last year, and you have it on your site, so what's going on? Yeah, I canceled a whole bunch of orders um, last week that they had been sitting there since December, January. Most people had them. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I just can't. And and everybody was really nice. Everybody canceled and, and didn't take any money or anything away from me. They just gave me the entire amount back, which was awesome. Downside dinner starts at four ends at seven. And you know what? Honestly, I've, I've been to dinners like that. It's nice. As long as the conversation... Usually when you're in public and you're eating with friends and family, it, you don't really eat for the food. You don't go for the, well, the food is part of it, but the main thing is the conversation. At least I find when you're, when you're like in a nice intimate setting with a bunch of friends, it's about the conversation. Well, yeah. Well, like, since, <sighs> since the dogs to walk. <laughs> um. Well, kind of a perfect example of that is we went to when I was in Florida. I met up with Nick and uh, Nick and Flocka, right? Yeah. And we went to Chili's, worst place we could have chosen, but the first place we wanted to go to was literally shut down completely. Like there was, we were like, well, wow, there's no cars here. We we ride by the front. There's a sign saying that they're closed. Seven thirty. He walked the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Never fails. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, like it's time to walk the dog. Yeah, the guy next door, he went out to walk the dog. So basically, we're sitting there, and then half the stuff that we that half the stuff we ordered wasn't exactly great. And but at the end of the day, we all had a good time because it had been a minute since we've seen each other, and we were all just talking. The kids were having a good time, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's we'll just like let's just the softy that comes by. Which I mean, that's that's, that's fine. fine. Sorry. Where's, Where's the, the echoing coming, coming from? from? Oh, it's coming from Claire? Claire. Hold on. Yep. I was. Oops, sorry, Claire. I was muted. I wasn't uh -huh. on. Well, no, no I, I muted, muted you. It's no, I was on. muted before that. I had the when the dogs bark, I muted myself, and and I just turned it on. Oh, my microphone was off. Uh, maybe. Oh, I'm on way to find out. Hello. Uh, it, it was it was Sean then. Oh no. Oh. That's no, that's weird. Hello? Hello. Why is that happening? That is weird now because I've gone. Okay, so there. That should hopefully have stopped it. I. Yeah, that was weird. Apparently, it's the dichotomy of a one broken mic. <laughs> a mic, two some speakers that are maybe a little bit too off because we've had issues with the uh, you know when I'm not on the live still. Yeah, but um. Now, like I said, I, I got no issues with um, with any business, how they want to run things. And I've never, ever been that kind of person that's gone out and said, well, I feel I'm being discriminated. I just take my wallet and go elsewhere. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why for the longest time there was the EB games here. I didn't shop at until one of the people asked me. Um, it's like, how come you never do pre-orders here? I said, you really want to know why? I said, because your manager is a dick. <laughs> Clearly, he hates life. And I get that. But you know what? For the eight hours that he's here, do what I do. You put a mask on and pretend the, and let the world think you're happy. And then when you go into that back room to get an order for something, you can go in there and die a little inside. Then put your mask back on when you open that door and smile. <laughs> I said, is it healthy? No. But the point is, my life, I said, my life, because at the time I was still working at Pete's Pizza, said, my life is miserable as hell. I come in here for a little bit of happiness. I don't need that. I don't need what I want to buy plus a little tiny misery to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> and and she's like, well, you know, collectors. I said, oh yeah, I'm I'm aware, especially in this especially especially in this city. People seem to think that because they have high paying jobs, they can treat and they're and they buy high value items, they can treat people like crap. I said, but I'm not one of those individuals. So oh, that, that's oh god. I had a situation like that. I was standing in the in the vicinity of seeing something like that not so long ago, and I was like, hey. and he was like, I don't need your money. <laughs> like the oh, the not not the old lady story. <laughs> that was hilarious, dude. I'm not gonna go into it, but it just it was just interesting to me. I'm like, the dude's literally telling you to walk with your own money, leave. Hey, he doesn't need it, but you're still there arguing. What's the point? Of I don't know. I've, um, like I said, the only thing I've ever come across is there have been, uh, there was a, there was a high, well, you'll, you'll, I won't say, I won't say the name of the individual, but I'm sure if anybody is in part of local groups, this guy is prolific. Uh, his initials are JA. So you can figure it out from there. And he's always flexing with what he's got and he, he's selling big, big ticket items. And if you disagree with them, it's, it's kind of like our Jason Chow of the universe of uh, like the the Facebook universe. If you uh, don't agree, if you don't agree with his pricing, or you don't like the way he does his business, or you decide to take your money elsewhere, you, you'll you'll get a goodie bag of uh, of uh, his comments to go with it. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know who that is. Huh? I don't have a clue, but it's okay. Oh, okay. I'll, um, after the after show, I'll. Uh, I'll if he's uh, on, if he's on Facebook, he doesn't. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the after show of who this person is. He he's popped up in a lot of places. In fact, uh, a friend of mine who I talked to, who's in um, Philly, he's like, "Do you know this guy?" He's like, "Yeah, I know him. 
he's a uh, he's local to here and he's like what do you mean i said uh he's about a two-hour drive from me and he's like this guy's acting like he's like big bucks like he works you know he's got a bunch of money he said no he works and he works insurance and i'm not being an asshole when i say this but he does live at home in his mother's basement like I'm not. That's not. A, that's not me being rude. That's not me trying to point out a cliche. That is the honest truth. The only reason why he's buying these, like, you know, headless Ned Starks by the by the basket, is because his rent is probably paid in him taking the trash out and raking the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> ah, those were the days. I suppose. I don't know. I still have to take the trash out, except now it's like... Yeah, me too. I still have to take my trash out. Well, well, here's the thing. It's kind of what I told my cousin. Uh, one of my cousins was like, look, you're complaining about all these things, but your father literally... You don't live with him 24-7, but this man takes you on three vacations a year. When you... he's And he's like, oh, yeah, but I'm working and I'm making my own money. Um, And I'm like, yeah, buddy, but you're not paying one single bill right now. And when you start paying those bills, that money's not gonna. You're gonna have to save up for a year to take that kind of a vacation, and you'll probably get one, because with especially with the job that you have. And I'm not saying that you'll not have a better job, but I'm just saying you're not gonna be taking three vacations a year on your own money if you're paying bills. Okay. You yeah. Know what happened with my first vacation I ever took? Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Somebody just like drop kicked something because the whole. I, building I heard it. That's yeah, next we door. It. We heard that. I'm. If it happens again, I may have to step away for a minute and um, a deal with it, because uh, I will not put up with that kind of shit. Um, I, that's, I was like, "How's that?" Yeah. That's somebody. That's somebody slamming. That's somebody slamming a door or being a man child, which would be next door. Um, so, anyways, the first vacation we ever took, we took a vacation uh, near the end of May, and we went from way up north down here to Niagara Falls. And we were camping. I ended up with a severe asthma and um, issue. Like I couldn't breathe. Like I couldn't take two steps without wanting to drop. And so I ended up in the Fort Erie Hospital for the entire vacation, while they were giving me Ventolin treatments and oxygen and doing all this other like respiratory therapy to get me back to breathing normally. <laughs> so my parents were planning on moving down here, and so they were do doing a vacation slash house hunting. Good times. Good times. And for the record, I was, it was me and one other, per oh, sorry, it was me and then one other person in the Fort Erie Hospital, like, because I was a kid, at the, a teenager at the time, and then he left, like, a day later, so I was the only teenager on the kid's floor by myself for that entire week. Wow. Here, here's my thing, like, I know, I know, here's the, my, me growing up, we obviously didn't. We didn't have a lot. We were we were comfortable, but you know there was also like eight, nine people living in the same damn house. So there's that. But mm -hmm. I know I was I was fortunate because my mother worked for the airline, and that's why I got to travel as much as I did as a kid. Mm -hmm. you know? And not everybody had that. And I kind of tried to explain to my cousin. I was like, dude, you need to like the like my my. It's technically my cousin's kid. And this guy go, they go every year during the summer to Disney Universal, and like he goes to like three or four of the parks every year, and he takes all the kids, and he's got, he's got three kids of his own and one stepson, and he that he still takes even though that he they're not together anymore, and they all go on vacation down there and they go crazy, and then they take another trip later on in the year to. The Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico, and I'm like, like, dude, what do you? He's like, oh, I don't want to spend time with him. I was like, you're old as hell, and he's still taking you like to these vacations. Enjoy it while you can, buddy. If yeah, not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your place. <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah, you know, it's just one of those things that you don't appreciate when you, you know, when you're at that age. I'm like, you. You really think this this minimum wage job in New York, by the way, because these people live my my cousin lives in New York. Mm -hmm. this minimum wage job in New York is you're gonna be taking these vacations and you have well, having your own money. No. <laughs> well, my my goal right now, because originally I wanted to go to New York in October, but it looks like the borders won't open up until sometime next year for what they call regular traveling. So I'm thinking what I might do is change my plans and go up to my cousin's farm because I haven't been up there in two years, and he's uh -huh. got a cabin on the property. And so what I'm thinking of doing is um, 
because he he does it. He rents it through um, uh, Airbnb. Yeah. So I'm gonna just say, hey, look, it's uh, it's my birthday weekend. I kind of like just to come up there and you know have some fun, like get out of the city, get out into the country. And the best part in the fall, no bugs, no pollen. <laughs> oh, you know what's funny? You're going from cabin fever to a cabin. <laughs> well, you know what? I would. I love being out there because it's quiet. No, I get it. I'm just it's kind of funny. Yeah, and you know we 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 hunt Hondurans, which is great. I mean, we just release them out into the woods and give them a one day head start. <laughs> <laughs> Crafty man, they get in the trees. You can never find them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, why my camera keeps doing that. It, it keeps changing color. Huh. That's interesting. Huh. Oh, it, I, it did I, an update the other day, so something must have gone awry. Uh, updates are always a pain in the ass. Yeah, because all of a sudden I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm seeing that it turns like a pinkish and it goes back to normal or it, it zooms in, zooms out, and it's like, what are you doing? It's okay. And those uh, features are all off, the, the zooming. The other day, I was at work, and I was watching a video on gaslighting, because I was on my break. And then one of our IT guys comes on and goes, hey, do you mind if I stop your video for gaslighting so I can update your computer? And I was like, yes. Also, I'm on break. He's like, I don't care. It's cool, man. He's like, oh, thank you. Last thing I need is my boss going, so what are you watching gaslighting on? Well, you know, I got a team now. <laughs> I got a team of people, and I just think this would be the easiest way of managing them. No, it's, <laughs> it's clearly your fault. You did it. Wasn't me. Are you okay? <laughs> LBD, you going to the Garden State Comic Fest this weekend? I didn't even know that was going on. What is that? What is that, Quick Draw? Please inform us. And yeah, where is it? Educated. I think it's in the Garden State, and it's a festival. No, I know it's in the Garden State. Is all, <laughs> that's what they call all of New Jersey. So it's like... I know, I, I, which is ironic, considering every picture I ever see of Jersey is like concrete and pictures of like the water. But let me tell you, New Jersey has very good soil. Oh my God, they have excellent soil for growing. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, there's a place called Orangeville, and the soil looks like potting soil there. And all they grow is nothing, like anything will grow there. And there's a plant <laughs> that I've shown LBD called hogweed. It is an invasive plant. It has a sap that, if it gets on your skin, will cause like these nasty burns and stuff. And that plant got into the Orangeville soil. So now it's like. <laughs> doing very well thank you Clarissa. <laughs> i'm gonna check that setting yeah i, I just got a pop-up here that i mean i swear to god i i read it like what a news pop-up that said <laughs> the fda says that people that have um seafood allergies should yeah, not eat cicadas who the hell wants to eat a cicada tell me that please <laughs> um Considering the fact that there are people out there that are doing videos on how to cook sand fleas, and if you ever saw what a sand flea looks like, it's a, uh, it's not a, it's not one of those things where I was like, if I was on an island and I was like, huh, I got my choice between slugs and sand fleas, I'd be like, I'll go with the slug. I'd rather go with the devil I know. <laughs> <laughs> now you're on the way. Like they're coming back from the walk, probably. That was a yeah. quick walk too, man. That was like ten minutes. It is ten. It was ten minutes. Jesus, man! It's like, <laughs> sure, you even walk the dog. It's better than the uh, what, what? Oh God! I just looked up sand fleas. Jesus Christ! Yeah, like I told you, they're not. These are other people for the other side. I don't know. It must they're, be a busy they're, night. They're technically called mole mole crabs. I don't care what they're called, dude. They're ugly as sin. I mean, there is not. I, unless, and I can't imagine they cook them on Kelly and Ryan. Well, good, good for Kelly and Ryan. Hey, DJ, welcome, man. Um, I don't know what the deal is with all people eating so much weird stuff lately. It's like I, I'm not into, I'm not into that kind of stuff. I'm not. I don't know. There were I have a delicate here. stomach, so I, I can't. Nor will I. <laughs> here's, here's the thing, though, Claire. There are some things I've looked at that I thought, oh, my God, they're disgusting. And it's, and they've turned out to be some of my most favorite things to eat. Like, for instance, deep fried calamari. I love. Well, calamari. A lot of people eat calamari. That's not, you know. Yeah, that's not that out there, buddy. No, but when you're young. Well, uh, that's octopus. Yeah. 
Uh, next month, there's a card comic and other collectible conventions going on at the wow. Wild Wood Convention That's Center. like three and a half hours away from me, four hours away from me. Yeah, that's pretty far even for me. Dude. Mm -hmm. I, I never used to really go all the way down to yeah. Wildwood. Wait, what is wrong with you guys tonight? But you said you said this weekend. Yeah, Seaside was so much is so much closer. So I, I never used to really go to Wildwood because that Wildwood like what I think like an hour after Seaside Heights. No. What is it? No, Atlantic City. You mean? Well, I don't know. I know. I know Seaside Heights is before Wildwood for sure. A lot before Seaside Heights is only an hour away from me, so it can't be that far away from you. No, Point Pleasant about, is about an hour and a half. I'm Ashbury talking Park. Wildwood. I'm talking about Wildwood being further than Seaside. <laughs> a lot further. That's what I'm saying. A so, lot further. I mean, it, it takes me, you have to pass Atlantic City, which is three hours to get to Wildwood and Cape Maine. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I used to stop at Seaside instead of going all the way down there. Oh, yeah. It's, and it's. I think it's not even in the same direction. No, it is. It is? Yeah, you can you can find your way through there. I was going to say, Jesus Christ, you guys, <laughs> it's your neck of the woods and you're debating on where things are. It's like, come on. We were agreeing, but not noticing we were agreeing. Well, yeah, because the way he's going, it, to me, it would be like a longer way around to get to Wildwood than going straight up, you know. My, mind you, I'm like that. I'm like that with uh, Ontario when it comes to the Corthos, because it's like anything past the green belt, anything past the green belt. Okay. Oh, and Elizabeth. Now, see, Elizabeth is not that far. Elizabeth is really close to you, LB. Oh. Uh, wait, the one this weekend isn't. Oh, that is pretty close. That's like that's probably like twenty minutes. Yeah, that's that one's really close to you. That's like maybe I don't know an hour for me. Maybe not. No, forty minutes. I'll check it. I'll I'll see. I'll check it out, man. I'm free yeah. this weekend. Maybe we can go and meet up. Finally, you know? I, I I don't know. I mean, yeah. Waiting a few months now, you know. I know. Well, in L LBD's defense, I don't know if he can go. I mean, he's a very very busy person. His his schedule is just ridiculously booked up. You you make that joke, but now that I that I started doing uh the auction stuff and then doing like regular work. Yeah, I've actually been busy, and then I start. I just started recording videos again. The only thing that that I haven't started up is doing the quizzes again because that'll take me. Doing the quizzes will takes me about three hours because I do my own research. Yes, I know. I remember some of your first quizzes. Yeah. So, what color was his lapel in the scene of during this time span at this point? No, no, no. That was more the mid. That was more in the middle. Not not the beginning. Oh, Jesus Christ. It, it reminded me of some of my uh, exams in college. <laughs> I need to come up with some games or something for my Friday night shows, but I want it to be more on the adult side than anything else. Strip poker? Drinking game. Not that adult. <laughs> Ru Russian roulette with automatics? Yeah. Sounds like a good one. <laughs> I mean, oh, Brandon, it, <laughs> what? I think the funniest thing I've ever seen with Russian roulette is with the was when they play it with uh it's not it's the freaking it's kind of like a plunger gun like and it's not exactly pleasant things inside the cartridge. Yeah, you know, my my favorite is um you get you get four people together and you get a big ass bag of elastics and a watermelon and each person puts on <laughs> oh, takes the watermelon oh puts it yeah on, puts it on their lap and puts one elastic on then counts to 10 Thank but that's and then pass it to the next person, and they keep doing that until it finally explodes in whoever's lap. Yeah, but it has to be online. Um, oh no, I'm, I'm I'm aware. No, you can still do that online. Just everybody gets their own watermelon, and a bag of elastics, and you just keep going until somebody's like. So who's gonna replace all the equipment afterwards? Yeah, and, and oh, it's food oh, messy. No. Oh, oh no. Jesus! If I did that, no that food. Would, There'd be a tarp on this floor, and I'd be at least six inches away from the monitor and everything else because I don't want. As it is, I'm like even a little reluctant to the games mm. sometimes because it's like to me, it's collecting, it's Funko, it's got nothing to do. But you know, like if the games are more oriented towards stuff well, that we collect, then you know, that's okay. I don't know, it, it's just it's just my, my way of thinking, it's not you know. Well, 
I, like I said, the only reason I want to do a quiz uh, for the giveaway is because I've done other ways of doing giveaways. And originally I was going to do an Instagram one, but the problem with the Instagram ones is it's harder to manage the uh, the giveaway horse. I guess it's the only way I can actually, you know, yeah. people that are just on there sitting there going, you know, constantly entering into giveaways, even though they haven't, like, don't get me wrong. I've entered in a few giveaways, but it's for stuff that I legitimately have an interest in. It's not like, oh, oh gee, I've always wanted a Hello Kitty onesie because I feel yeah. it will fill that hole in my life I've desperately wanted. I get tagged in tons of giveaways on Instagram daily. Yeah. And yeah. I will only enter the ones that I say, hmm, okay, you know what? If I win that, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, exactly. not every single one of them. No. Sometimes, I'll be honest with you, I, I honestly don't enter a lot of them. But some people, they will tag me and stuff that they know I like at least. Yeah. You no, know, you know, the ones I don't like is the one that get tagged in random stuff that people know I don't give a crap about. So, mm -hmm. but, it, you know, at the end of the day, I don't make a big fuss about it. I was like, what is what is it? One notification. It's, I get it. No, I don't, I don't care. I either ignore it or I do it. It, exactly. it doesn't bother me. Exactly. No, I, but, um, I, don't, I don't mind right. being tagged in anything. It's just, I found at least when it comes to Instagram, there are more people on there that will throw themselves into a get like to any giveaway for anything. We're not talking like I, I typed in giveaway once like hashtag giveaway, just see all the giveaways that Instagram that you could find with that hashtag. And it's like some of the weirdest crap, like people like, um, I think the weirdest one I saw was, yeah, like a, like an adult size, um, onesie. Huh. Quick. Oh, by the way, I don't mean to yeah. cut you guys off, but, Quick draw, are you gonna go? Because you say this is the voice actor for Gambit supposed to be there, so I'm curious if he's gonna go. It's 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 quick draw and Gambit. <laughs> well, he lives further down than me, so then for him, Elizabeth is probably more like 50 minutes or 60 minutes. Oh, I I am willing to bet if you know the voice actor of Gambit was in Philly, he'd be like, I'm gone. He's closer Wait, to Philly. Yeah, I know, but I'm just giving an example. Okay, if if the voice actor of Gambit was staying over at night at Claire's house, he would thumb it, walk it, skateboard, scooter. Like, it would be one of those road trip movies. He would show up disheveled, looking like hell, only to find out that the guy had just left like two minutes before. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm redesigning the entire way that I'm going to. And I'm, it's still a work in process. But right now, I'm thinking I'm going to stay with my Friday Night Lives. Mm. I think come July, I'm not going to do any videos. No videos. Um, because it, it's like, it, and it's not, you know, it's the uncertainty that I'm, I'm going into a new transition now. So now my severance ends. So I have to apply for unemployment. I don't know how much I'm going to get. I don't know if it's going to cover my bills. I don't know if it'll be better for me to just uh, put in for my social security and work a part time and, and get more money, you know? So right now I'm like playing with everything. So I figured the videos it's to unbox things. I'm not going to be ordering things right now because I can't be spending money like that, nor do I want to go in debt, mm. but the lives, I can still do the lives and use the Patreon money that I get every month to do the giveaway. So they'll be able to do three giveaways on each live. That's four a month. So, you know, yeah. and, and still be on, on, on YouTube and not shut down the entire channel. Like I had previously thought that I would have to do. And I had a, a few good people kind of like, you know, inbox me and give me different ideas and, and different ways to, you know, do stuff, which I appreciate. Claire, just um, do a fans only page. That yeah. solves everyone's problems. <laughs> you you sound like Fox. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny too because I didn't know fans. I thought it was just a random thing people were throwing out. This is like months ago. This yeah. is how naive I am with a lot of things. So I was like, "What's fans only?" So I looked it up the one day on my work computer, and I was like, "Okay, oh, God, not no. out of the history." <laughs> Wrong place to look it up. Yeah, seriously. Well, I figure. Well, here's my thing. I didn't sign into it. Like, I didn't sign up on an account. I didn't click on anything that I thought was going to be risque. But I just wanted to get a, an idea. You know, basically, well, here, get, a fla here. get a fla get a flavor of what it was about. I'm like, oh, here's the oh. thing. Basically, OnlyFans is where people went after Patreon kind of 
oh they, yeah they cleaned up because patreon before that's where people used to go to do that like yo you get if you pay this you know i'll send you uh followers of this and or like this person oh yeah there, there there are some people on there it's like wow it, it got cleaned up a lot recently so like probably like within the past year and a half i think so after that happened then everybody switched over to that and it's just been blowing up ever since I'm curious. I'm curious what their uh, what their monthly uh, draw is on that. Huh. Oh, dude. There's somebody who's a who's a who's a Twitch partner, mm-hmm. right? They said that they made they made what they would have made on Twitch in eight years in one month. I can believe that. I mean, and there they, was and, a, they're in, and they're a popular Twitch streamer. Like they get a lot of. There, there was um. There's a YouTube um. There's a YouTube channel called My Story where people tell like weird stories about how they got into things, and I'm not going to go into detail. I told you what about LBD. Uh, it was about this girl who she was. Her brother was a Twitch game Twitch game streamer, and she kind of looked at it like you know my little brother's being an idiot. So the one day she goes into his room while he's streaming, and she's like 17, right? She's getting ready for university, and you know she's dressed <laughs> normally, and she leans over his shoulder not realizing that there's a camera on hmm. and all of a sudden her brother's getting, oh, yeah, yeah. getting yeah. donations. Like, like he's never seen fifty, hundred dollars and people go, Hey, can yeah. you ask your sister to come back in the room? And so she didn't come back in the room, not realizing what was going on. And then she, you know, clued in after a while. So she started her own Twitch streaming channel and <laughs> she realized that in, in an eight hour stream, she could make more money and pay literally for an entire year's worth of college and books in like an eight hour stream. If she just dressed a certain way. Wow. Get, yeah. And then she realized that long, and then she did some math and realized that the more she was away from the camera for taking care of the call of nature, she was losing money. So she took certain, I'm sure everyone could draw their own conclusions. She took certain precautions so she didn't have to leave her chair. And she got caught on a live stream. And all of a sudden, people paid more money for that. So then uh, she went over to Golden family. showers, baby. Golden showers. No, no. So she went over to, she started up, you know, a, a fans only. And that's where the video ends. And I'm, and she she mentioned that she makes something like over 80000 80, a year. And she only works like, you know, maybe three or four months out of the year. And I'm going, Jesus. Oh, wow. I mean, disgusting. But impressive, like f- f- financially, it's like because I know if I was in univ- like if I was in when I was in college, man, holy, not that I would yeah, do that, anything up. like that. But if I if I had a source of income that required me to only work four months out of the year to make eighty thousand, I'd be like, okay, as long as I don't have to embarrass myself. By the way, did, Hi, you, Anthony. See, did you see Quick Draw's comment about traveling to Philly? Uh, yeah. But if uh-huh. it was in Philly, I would definitely sell a testicle to go. Left. Really? Can, can can you only sell? I mean, <laughs> I think that's a win-win for you know society, humanity in a whole. I mean, you get what you want, and society gets what they want. By the way, Quickie, <laughs> what's the what's the cover charge for that Elizabeth thing? Because if, if I get a chance, if we if I can get a chance to go, I might I might take that shot is it this weekend. Well, I mean, LBD, if you had one shot, would you take it? Depends if the money's there. Well, I mean, I, we already know the formula. I guess you just have to follow through on that, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the record, uh, my opinion of you won't change, but I'm not willing to do any collabs after that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but seriously, look it up on YouTube. It's uh, it's called my my story, and it, it's all these weird ones. Like um, this this one kid that grew up in a in a family that they didn't believe in. Um, electricity or modern like modernization or inoculations or anything like that and they they literally lived out in the um the foothills of, of the Appalachian Mountains and one day he decides you know what screw it and he makes a run for it <laughs> and gets like to the closest town then ends up getting to like uh, a major city and he talks about how his first 10 years of basically realizing that there's things like indoor plumbing and electricity and <laughs> fast food and all the and it, it's like I can't imagine discovering that when I was in my twenties, like just suddenly popping out in the middle of nowhere going, wait, what, what's that? That's a car. What's it on? That's a road. What's a road. <laughs> like, 
that'd be you know that that would be like like that must be like so weird to feel that to yeah, see like a whole world that was out there that you had no clue of yeah and you're in your 20s so you're you're literally trying to catch up like you you know you obviously know the language and how to speak but these words are completely foreign to you Fifteen dollars Friday, twenty five dollars on Saturday, and twenty dollars on Sunday. Damn, that's not bad though. Well, the fan expo that's normally supposed to be in August, they pushed to like the week of my birthday, and then they pushed it back to the end of October, and they're only allowing twenty five thousand tickets to be sold. And then once it's sold, that's it. They're not selling it. Like they're not doing any tickets at the door or any stuff like that. And I was sitting there thinking, I really want to go, but at the same time. Every time I bought a ticket for one of these events, they keep pushing it. Bite the bullet. Uh, again, it's it's an idea. My problem is, is that it's Toronto and people... Just to give you an idea, the U.S. has a higher inoculation rate than Canada. Canada is like pushing 5%. The U.S. is at 40 Yeah, I remember watching something about that. Yeah, so right now, I I mean, it's – and there are still a lot of people here that are apprehensive to the idea. Yeah. And the problem is is that the government's pushing it. So unless people get inoculated or at least they get to a, what we call like a saturation level, even with the people that don't want to, I don't think things are going to be as um, liberal as they are on the other side of the border at the moment. Hmm. So – that's why I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy a ticket for a convention that may or may not be happening in the fan expo because they've done so many pushing back and refunding people. They may not. They may not necessarily be willing to give your money back as easily and just go. Oh, we'll just you, you have a ticket for a future event. Well, when's the future event? Okay. In the future. Uh, <laughs> great. Uh, I'll remember to put in my will. By the way, my possessions belong to. And in the event that the fan expo happened. Close as can, let them go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nerdy Aqua Frost, welcome. Hey, Brittany. Um, quick, honestly, where the Jane Song and Bob uh, secret stash, it's a little bit further. It's kind of further out of the way. If you take a straight shot from where you live, I think it's going to be a shorter ride or just about the same to Elizabeth. Because so that's <laughs> well. If you guys, somebody out of this group that lives in Jersey decides to go to this, would you guys be so kind as just to like stop by my place, pick me up? I'll pay for gas. I'll even buy lunch. <laughs> As you see a tale of like cop cars, RCMP, FBI, and like border border crossing police. Get in the car now! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> 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 now, now, now we, if we start having issues. Is it okay if we just make you tuck and roll? Oh, God. I told you before, I can be in Jersey by tomorrow. I'll just go for the and I'll just wait for uh, immigration to boot my ass out. I just hope they don't like send me out in Br BC or something. Yeah, no, you'll, you'll end up in, in uh, Mexico. Oh, I forget what TV show that was. Uh, they were like, yeah, my one of my best friends got uh, deported. They sent him to Mexico. Oh my God! Really? Yeah, he was Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> somebody, there are some people that are so nice that they don't want to interfere with people while they're doing their job. They'll sit there, go, "Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I should tell him I'm Canadian." No, no, they'll figure it out eventually. And as you get off the bus, it's like, "Okay, I probably should have spoke up sooner than later." Well, it's like that girl I told you. She um, there's going to be a vaccination lottery. Top prize is one million. Yeah, a lot God. of states are doing those. So that yeah. desperate. I think New York is, is one of them. One of those New York days. had a college. Uh, I read something today that two kids won, one in the Bronx and one in Queens. Um, that if they got vaccinated, they were entered into a lottery that would pay for their college. You know what I'd be happy with, to be honest with you? Not even here, not even a, a vaccination lottery. I'd be happy with like a public transportation lottery. Congratulations. You got in there. Guess what? You get like... You get your tickets for, you know, because we have what we call Metrolink, which is their master plan to, like, link all the bus and train services in, like, a large swathing area. So you have one card, and that card will allow you to, you know, kind of like what they do in Europe with the Metro Pass. Right. I'd be happy if they did something similar where it's like, hey, you got vaccinated. Guess what? You get 25% off Metrolink for the next four years. That, 
I'm willing to bet if you did that, people in Toronto, considering how much it is for a goddamn uh, subway token, would be like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> especially especially considering that the government owns a lot of municipal parking lots and they're tied into the Metrolink. Oh, that would help, yeah. Yeah, if you could get 25% off a public parking lot, I don't care what city, major city you're in, I think some people would, would you know, make time. I was saying good night to the little one because it's bedtime. Uh, oh. um, was it five kids in university won money from the school to pay off their tuition as for as long as they can stay in school? Unfortunately, I was number six and I missed it by three points. Damn. That sucks. It was only vaccination for students, though. So. Yeah, we don't really have anything like that. I know the only thing our Minister of Health, which... God bless her heart. I know she's trying her job. <laughs> doing the best she possibly can, considering the fact that, I mean, our uh, our current pre... Um, not pre our, I guess you would say, like, our version of a senator, who is uh, Rob Ford. Uh, how can I put it? The best in analog is Diamond Joe Quimby from The Simpsons. That's literally how this guy does politics. So... Yeah, it's it's been it's been a it's been a wild trip. So, okay, hopefully that will stop it. All right, that is driving me nuts. Hopefully that stopped. Well, um, but yeah, I don't hear anything. I don't, I don't hear it. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's only for some reason when we're together that. Microphone issues seem to happen between the three of us, and I have no idea why. I blame speakers and microphones. I, 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 it's like he says, it's only when the three of us are together. It, yes. it, it doesn't happen to me on my lives. It doesn't happen yeah. to me. And I've been, yeah. and, and I've been on your live before too. No, no, but I've been on lives with I've been on lives with just Claire and I, and there've been no issues. And I've been on lives with just you and you and I, and there's no yeah. issues. I mean, no, that's not true. With you, your issues are more to the fact that, like I said, the sensors in your mic are, are shot. They they need, you know, they they have wine glasses. Just is that like a, is that like a wine bottle you took a swig out of? No, it's a little bit of a. Yeah, there you go. Oh it's my big. god! It's like you know what? I'll just take it straight from the bottle. Jesus Christ! No what did you? I looked at you like, what is he doing? <laughs> How bad was your kid today, man? Holy shit, dude! There Damn. is your Next thing we know, he's gonna have an IV. Just infuse it, you know. No, well, I, was, I was drinking last night when uh, I was drinking. Like, well, we were drinking last night, and I, I still have some left, so I figured I'd just finish it off today. The problem with Bailey's Bailey's is what I call a, a sour apple drink. It goes down smooth, but God forbid if you get sick on it. Because uh, it's sweet. Really, uh, yeah, that's true. I, I I actually water mines down. Like I, I don't obviously this one's not watered down because it's coming from the bottle. But yeah. I, I, I either throw a big block of ice in there or because it'll it'll go down smoother. It's not as creamy. But yeah. Or I just drop some water. I hear uh, you. You know that I opened my uh I opened up my mailbox um yesterday and there sat what looked like a check from the U.S. Treasury, and I'm like, "What the hell is this?" And I opened it, and it was one of the stimulus checks. <laughs> huh. I was like, "Oh God, this is not. I'm not. I'm not gonna." I, I, I filed my taxes with that check, like I put it in the yeah. in the taxes, and I'm not gonna amend my taxes, so I'm just not gonna cash it. I'm not gonna deposit it. Um. There's a check up here. So when I paid off my student loan, I end up overpaying by exactly 85 cents. <laughs> a stamp in Canada is 49 cents. An envelope has to be at least what? We'll say 50 cents to be fair. Because it's got the government the government writing all that shit on it. Plus the letterhead that they had to send the check on. I I, I didn't bother I didn't um on or, oh the thing on earth that loves you. Oh, it doesn't say anything on the bottom. Yep. I love pits. Um, so yeah, I have that check up there, and I have not cashed it because somebody, a friend of mine, was over the one time, and he was moving some stuff around for me because I couldn't reach it, and he's like, 
dude, why didn't you cash the check? I am not that poor that I need to go to my bank and go, hello, I'd like to deposit this. <laughs> would you like to take it out? Or would you like to put it in your account? No. Take a no. picture of it with your yeah. app. Oh, I did. See? Oh, no, I'm not. I, I, I just keep it as a constant reminder of like, Jesus Christ, are you serious? <laughs> I, I could imagine a person who had it who had that. Why didn't they just keep it, right? Like 85 cents. Like you spent more sending it than. You know why, Claire? Because there is that one person in 10 that will call you for those 80 something Oh, Oh, yeah. I've had, when I worked for Pizza Pizza, I had uh, one lady who claimed that a store took her kids' money and, and did a bunch. And we proved it on camera. And eventually, because Pizza Pizza is a large corporation, they bent to the will of the customer. And she wanted us to write them a check for a slice of pizza, which is just five dollars. And I was like, "Are you serious?" And then she didn't want us to mail it to her. She wanted the store to hand deliver it to her. Oh dear lord! And I, I'm not. I don't remember the exact wording, but she. When I got her, she goes, "You probably think I'm crazy," and I worded it in such a way that I basically agreed with her, but. It sounded like I had no decision, like I had no comment on, on the subject. No, you're not crazy. You're fucking insane. No, I think I said something along the lines of it's not my place to guess, guess uh, sorry, it's not my place to pass judgment on the sanity of others, but to facilitate what Pizza Pizza wishes to do to resolve the situation. Which was like my nicest way of saying, you're fucking nuttier than a squirrel on meth, okay? But I can't say those words. <laughs> well, like LBD says, it's one of those moments later she's probably sitting in, the, in bed late at night going, Huh. Huh. <laughs> I think I love my dog so she stopped listening to me that does whatever the fuck she wants. <laughs> no, I, my dog my dog likes to play a lot and thinks he's uh thinks he's you have a dog? Yeah, I couldn't bring him here, so he lives in Oh my- I'm like, you got a dog? Where is he? Locked in a no. closet? When I moved here they weren't allowing pets and now they do. I've like the, just for like the past year. And uh, he's just, you know, I decided like he's been living there for for a while now, so he's he's got a giant yard and he's good at running. Oh, okay. Orders, so. What kind of dog is he? Uh, Red nose pit. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, Israel just got his uh, pit back from his parents, and he's been uh, letting yeah. him stay with him, and it girls love him. It's really cute. He's a beautiful pit too. Yeah, my, it's funny because Leah met my pit. Like when I took her over there to, so she can get to know him. She was mm-hmm. always asking me about him because remember she wasn't living here. So excuse like, me for a moment. The first year that she came over, I, I I took her over there so she can know get to meet him. She was a little bit scared because before she came to live with me, she actually had gotten bitten by a street dog. Oh man! So that, that can was, traumatize a kid forever. Yeah, so I wanted her to get a little bit used to bigger dogs. And Simba's my my dog's name is Simba. Uh, Simba's basically a big teddy bear. So I took her to meet him. He was a little bit overexcited because I, you know, he, he almost jumped the damn big ass fence because he saw he saw me coming, and so she was a little bit scared. But then you know I got in there first, you know, calmed him down. Once you know he was fine, he was ready. To right. Go. And he's always been intuitive. Like when my cousin was pregnant, he would never jump on her or nothing like that. And they're um, awesome dogs. Uh, pit bulls just have a bad reputation, but pit bulls are one of the best dogs you can have. They're puppies. They're they're lovable yeah. dogs. Anybody sick in the house, like he would sleep next to that person all no matter what. Whoever was sick, he would always be next to that person. Yeah, he was. He was you know, <laughs> he actually almost busted one of my cousin's nose trying to say hi one time because he got really excited and jumped up, and they <sighs> made contact nose to nose. My golden retriever did that to me. Mind you, when he would stand up on his two legs, he'd pass me. He was like five, 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 six, maybe. And one day I was going down and he was coming up and I thought he had broke my nose. The pain was yeah. unbelievable. He got me with his skull. Oh yeah. my God. They, they got big ass heads too. <laughs> I think my dog identifies as a hog. Now, every time I'm in the kitchen, she's sniffing around on the floor and snorts like a hog looking for truffles. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I, remember, yeah. I remember one day, because it's, it's funny, because when I first brought him home, I was living in my mother's house uh, was before, I, before I moved out for a while. And, man, the crazy thing, it, I, I walk into the house, 
and all I see is them both sleeping on the couch, right? She's she's on the recliner side of the couch, and she's like, <sighs> you hear her snoring, and they were, and I'm like, why is it so loud? And then I see the dog laying right next to her with his paws up in the air, right, <laughs> on the couch, and they're snoring in unison. <laughs> They're snoring at the same exact time, almost at the same volume, and that's why it was so loud because they were snoring together. It was hilarious. And my male, I- my male dog is like that, that one right there. Yeah. He snores like a man. I swear to God. At night, I have to actually move him sometimes for him to stop yeah. snoring. Yeah. He snores and farts like <laughs> unbelievable. <man. laughs> oh, I mean, this dog yeah. farts and it's like toxic. I gotta leave the room. And Lisa told me to give him some plain yogurt to help him because I don't know why he's farting so much. Didn't help, man. I think it made him worse. <laughs> oh. well, maybe it takes time. Maybe I don't know, man, but <laughs> I'm going to have to buy a gas mask and put it on because when he goes, <laughs> boy. Yeah, that's the one thing about dogs. When they go, it is volatile. <laughs> I'm not hungry at all. I had um, I had some uh, like peppered. Uh, chicken like pepper steak but instead of it being red meat it was with chicken breast oh, with had, white rice um, beans plantains and i, I have a that. tres leches cake waiting for me in the fridge That's a what tres leches, tres oh, leches. it means three milks basically in oh, 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 so oh the uh the lactose killing uh variety yeah honestly <laughs> dude, i would it's worth a pill let's just put it that way yeah, it is definitely. Oh, well, yeah. I don't. I don't have to take a pill because I'm not lactate intolerant. But it well, is. I mean, so for him, yeah. Because if he's ever, oh, wait, wait, it, would, it would, it would be one of those. Yeah, it's a diabetic it's like, nightmare. Let's put it that way. Because yeah. I had um, what do you call it? Oh, uh, like about two weeks ago at work, I ordered a coffee and they put cream in it. And I was talking to somebody. I had to talk to one of my agents. She's like, "Are you okay? You you look really flushed in the face." I said. Well, if we're being honest with each other, I said, I'm lactose intolerant and there's cream in this coffee. And she's like, are you going to be okay? It's like, no, no, I'm not. But I'm not going to die. I'm just going, I have to coach you. So we're going to do this coaching. And then I'm going to spend the rest of my day basically about two inches above my keyboard, occasionally looking up to make sure you guys don't have the place on fire. And then I'm going to put my eyes back down and suffer in silence. (laughs) It's like, is there anything you can do? No, it's anytime... When you're lactose intolerant, once the food passes your stomach, that ship has sailed. There is no, there is no going back. And if you're not aware, if there's um, dairy in something, that's usually, that's usually how you find out the hard but way. But what do you get? You get like stomach pain, intestinal pain, or so, gas. Um, aside from Europeans, because Europeans have a mutated gene that allows them to digest dairy. Native Americans, Asians, and African Americans don't have that mutated gene. And those are the three predominants that have that are lactose intolerant. Mm-hmm. So most people that can digest milk have European ancestral hoods somewhere in their DNA. In my case, I inherited true. my lactose intolerant from my mother's side because she's native. Yeah. I didn't get my immunity from my father. My brother was immune to milk. So um um, so basically what that means is that my body can't digest digest the lactose. So what happens is it creates um, gas along because of the bacteria in your uh, in your uh, your I guess it what is it flora, the flora in your intestines, it causes stomach cramping basically because of that. Oh, okay. And sometimes that pain can be mild or it could be like remember that day that you had the mild food poisoning? yeah okay so i was having that i was having issues that day because i decided to have a slice of pizza thinking that if i you know i got it from a place that i wasn't familiar with so i figured because the more pure the dairy the higher the chance but usually cheese is kind of a 50 50 blend it can it can't so i rolled the dice clearly i lost but yeah i was in a lot of pain that day that night that was for my birthday, man. I thought I was going to die from that pain that I had in my stomach. It was so bad. But yeah, it wasn't it, in my intestine. This was like right here. Right yeah, right, my, the, right in the, what is that? The, right in the pit of my stomach. It was no. it was awful. My, mine was lower intestine. That's why if you watch the video, you'll occasionally see me doing like one of these going. Going, going. Because it just, it was, it was hurting. 
it was hurting a lot. But I mean, I was fine. The, the stream ended, and I went. You know, later I I went and drank a shitload of water and grabbed a hot shower and basically tried to sleep it off. Nothing wow. else you can do. Going back to pop still real quick. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned the other day how that they officially announced that they're going to make a Craven the Hunter movie, like a standalone movie. Yeah. And I told anybody, like, if you don't have one and you're a Spider-Man fan, you need to get one. Mm-hmm. Get a what? Craven the Hunter. Hunter. Craven the Hunter is a Spider-Man villain. Yeah. He's getting his solo film, kind of like Morpheus and a couple others. Yeah. And uh, basically, I wake up this morning and there are 13 new listings for Craven. And all above PPG, like yeah. way above, like way above PPG, because it's only worth about maybe ten bucks or eight bucks or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then all of the listings are like twenty, twenty-five. I'm like, the movie's not even out yet. Give it a chance. Uh, well, because let's let's be honest, some standalone films, yeah, they are really good or they suck horribly. There isn't yeah. like, There's hey, no that was enjoyable. Pardon? There's no middle ground. Yeah, it's like, well, that was mildly enjoyable. It's like you walk out and go. Huh. Uh, so who would I report who do I report this to when my money is stolen? Yeah, I wait what happened? Well no, I'm saying like you, you watch a really bad standalone movie and you oh, feel yeah. like somebody robbed you, but you voluntarily gave that money up, so it's not <laughs> yeah. I felt that way with Catwoman. I went and saw Catwoman walked out and was like, Okay, I didn't pick this movie, so who did? The movie could be crappy. I mean, look at Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman was not all that it was a flop. Well, you know, it's okay if you have Sean Flick stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. But, well, um, I, I, think... I know I know there's like four of those Craven Hunters by me. And I was like, you know, I'll get it later. I'll get it later. I keep saying I get it later. I better get it now before I can never, before I can't get it for a regular. Craven time. Hunter. Is that like a pop? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's, it's a Walgreens exclusive pop. That's yeah. one people are going nuts now nobody cared about it. literally there's two walgreens near me and there's at least three in each of them of craven the hunter and nobody's ever cared now they're all popping up online it's insane and i was like oh, i'll get it later because nobody cared you know walgreens maybe they're not even there anymore and you're thinking they might still be there eh, i'll go check L- 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 lbd it was the same thing with the umbrella academy pops those pops came out before uh before the show they were not leaving shelves. As soon as the season one came out, that weekend, you could not find any of them in the local stores. Because I remember when I bought all mine, someone's like, you know, hey, did you get them before the hype? What, what hype are you talking about? And he's at Hot Topic. And there's, because they had all of them on two shelves. Yeah. All the shelves were clear. Like, the only, I think the only thing left was, um, oh, God, I have to look at it now. Um, I think the only one was left was, like, Diego. Like a few Diego's were left. The rest of it was clear. Huh. <laughs> Lisa said he's still beat up at her Walgreens. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'll probably check it out. Because the reason, so it's funny because one of not too long ago, before the news even broke about the movie, probably like about a month ago, mm-hmm. I was gonna go and buy the damn thing, but I couldn't even step outside without wanting to pull my eyes out because of the allergies. Now the allergy season is starting to die down a little bit here, so. I can probably go. Plus, I don't like crossing the street over here where I live because to go to the Walgreens that's close by, because the way it's like I'm familiar with the Walgreens, by the way. Huh? I'm familiar where the Walgreens is because of the uh, search for the box. Remember, Sean? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you see that street? There's like four, four or five streets that intersect there. It's insane. I know. And, like, <laughs> and I've seen a bunch of accidents happen there. Like, and I've it's I've it's not I've, you know what it's not indicative of just your street. There's a street in St. Catharines that's like that. It's a five way intersection, and and one of the routes leads to a highway. Yeah, and there's, there's a bunch of those over here like that. Yeah, though. and there's always uh, it's where my friend got T-boned by the 16 year old that uh, decided to take his mom's car out for a joy ride. And my buddy Nathan has a uh, zero to ninety temper. So my friend Brandon literally saw it. Nathan get out and go like crazy eye and he's walking up to the car and then he looks and see my, my friend Brandon sees in the car that it's like the 16 year old kid with this look like oh god my, you know he's seeing his life flash yeah and he's Brandon, and Brandon literally runs behind the car hops over because they're still touching hops over to step in front of Nathan in the driver door going he's a 16 year old kid just 
turn around, go over. <laughs> he's walking Nathan like away from the car, and the kid gets up, and the kid, and the kid's like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" And apparently, my friend Brian turns around and goes, "Just sit in your car. Do not go near him right now. Just stay there." Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, by the, by the way, Lisa. The ones at my Walgreens, at least the, the three that I've seen, like three Walgreens near me, they're all like almost minty fresh. Oh, oh, nice. Well, um, I'm thinking of wrapping this up because I, I want to try to keep them like under an hour to two hours for these. Yeah. So before we go, um, Clara, aside from Friday, anything? No, nothing. I, I'm, I'm not going to do a video this week, I think. Um, okay. I'm just going to do the live on Friday and I'm going to do some channel shout outs for the giveaways instead okay. of doing a hashtag on a video. Okay, cool. Well, um, like I said, uh, next Wednesday, I'm going to be, um, I'll, I'm going to be posting, I'm going to be working on it after this. I'm going to be working on the, uh, the, I guess you'd call the bumper or whatever the advertisement for next week for the giveaway. Uh, giveaway is going to be real simple basically. And I'm sorry guys, it's nothing personal. It's just, I've spent a lot of money thanks to Funko Ween and I don't, and at the same time, I don't want to push out more. So uh, American winners will get uh, money in their PayPal. Canadian winners will get um, Funko Pops. And they're, go they're not going to be commons. I'm going to try to keep them to chases and exclusives because I have a few of them that I really don't care for. And they're not exact. They're not, you know, they don't mean anything to me. So I'd rather just somebody else who will enjoy them have them more. So that, that will be ironed out and put out tomorrow. I have a video coming out Friday. No clue what it is because everything is sitting in the kitchen. I just need to actually sit down and set up a game plan for that. So something will be out Friday or Saturday. Who knows? Uh, LBD, you got anything on the burner? Well, I was telling you earlier, I recorded two videos, one with good audio and one with air conditioning audio because I, I was having a rough day after the kid got – because one was filmed before the kid got here yeah. and one was filmed after. And right after, I had just punished her for doing something. So I got those two videos. I got to figure out what to do with those two. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Sunday, Sunday, it's all of us again. On uh, and I might try to actually work a game out if I don't do uh, the Star Wars auction that I had planned. Because I got a couple Clone Wars stuff that I I, mm -hmm. I enjoy the Clone Wars series, but it's one of those things where I'm not attached to them. Fair so, enough. Except for Captain Rex, I, I really like Captain Rex, so I might keep him. But everything else might go. Other than that, you know, the regular live stream on Sunday would you know have a little bit of fun. When okay. is your next auction next week? Uh, I might do it next week. I wanted to do it this week, but since I have to pull out all the Star Wars stuff, I might get pushed back. Okay. Well, at least we got a game plan there, a possible whatnot from LBD and some videos coming out. Claire is going to be doing her lives along with shout outs. And I got something coming out this uh, Friday or Saturday, depending on the way editing works. And we'll be doing a giveaway next Wednesday. So uh, keep uh, keep an eye on that on Instagram. And in the meantime, I want to say thank you for everyone who took the time to come out today. Had a great time. Uh, kind of talked a little pops, a little politics, and a little bit of other things. But good time had by all. So uh, see you guys. Take it later. Bye, everyone. Good night. Cheers. <laughs>